Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for class 11, IIC, CBSC and West Bengal board also. Limit of a function, part A. That means you have already got seven lessons, you must go through that lesson. Now please pay your attention on the board. Sums given from ML Agrawal's book exercise 13.2, sum number 14 part 2. Sum you will get in your book and here also it is written clearly. Now pay your attention on the solution. After looking the expression, you have to think whether it is in the frame of formula or not. It is not exactly in the frame of formula. This is why dividing numerator and denominator by x we have. Numerator and denominator dividing by x. Then we are uh, splitting in terms that is sin 5x by x and sin 3x by x and this is sin x by x. Here 5x and if we get the 5x here, then we will get the frame of formula. Here we are taking the 5x and for here is not 5x for balancing here we are taking uh, 5. In this way, if we take here 3x, 3x, then it will be frame of formula and this is why we have taken 3 here and for balancing here we are writing 3 here. And this is exactly in the frame of formula, so we are putting 1. And now, this 5 constant number will come outside of the limit. Similarly, this 3 will come outside of the limit. Then, this part and this part will the frame of formula. So, this uh, sin, since sin x by x tends to 0, sin x by x equal to 1, this in this in this place, we are getting 1 and this is place we are getting 1. 5 minus 3 by 1. So equal to 2. This is the answer. Very simple. If you follow the step, easily you will understand. Next sum 18 part 1. Sums you will get in your book. Here also it is written clearly. Now pay attention on the solution. Here also same thing by looking. You have to understand this is in the frame of formula or not. This is not exactly, this is why we have to simplify. In place of 6 square x, we will write 1 plus 10 square x. Because 1 plus 10 square theta equal to 6 square theta minus 1. Then by simplifying, we are getting 10, 10 square minus x divided by this. And a square minus b square. This is a square minus b square. a plus b into a minus b. Then 10x minus 1 and 10x minus 1 will be cancelled. Finally, it is coming 10x plus 1. Now we will put the... Uh, value of limit after splitting that is uh, 10x and this is 1. In place of x we have to put the value of uh, x that is 5 by 4 and constant number uh, limit of constant number that is same 1. So 10 40 by 5 by 4 that means 10 40 by. value of 10 40 by, that is 1. 1 plus 1 that is 2 this is the answer. Since the 10 40 by equal to 1 that is you may write or may not, but your answer is 2. By looking the step, easily you will understand. Next sum, you have to pay your full attention. This is a little bit different what you have learned previously. Sin x minus cos x. This is not in the frame of formula. And sin, sin z minus sin z, cos z uh, minus cos d. Sin c plus, sin, plus minus plus minus. But uh, sin c minus cos x, this is not the, we can uh, express the expression in formula. This is why, see the process, let x equal to pi by 4 plus h. Pi by 4, here pi by 4, and h that is a small increment, so that a x tends to pi by 4 and a tends to 0. So small, so a tends to 0. This is the process you have to remember. Now, in place of x, we are writing, and that is pi by 4 plus h. That is sin x, that is a pi by 4 plus h. Here, pi by 4 plus h. And here also, pi by 4 plus h. Now, sin a plus sin a, a plus b. Sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Here, cos a cos b. Sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and cos a cos b minus sin. Here is minus, so it will be plus. By applying the compound angle formula, uh, we are getting this expression. And this is by changing, removing the bracket, we are getting this expression. 
Now, if we observe then easily, we will understand that is uh, sine. Uh, this in pi by 4, that is pi by 4, sine pi by 4, that is 1 by root 2. And here sine cos pi by 4, that is also 1 by root 2. In this way, this value 1 by root 2 and this value also 1 by root 2. And now, pi by 4 minus pi by 4, that will be cancelled. So, here in denominator, we are getting h. h tends to this, that is this minus this and plus this will be cancelled. Then, uh, 1 by root 2 sin h and 1 by root 2 sin h by adding, we are getting this. Then, uh, this the uh, constant part that is 2 by root 2, 2 by root 2 constant that will come outside of the uh, limit and this is sin h by h. Now, we are getting the frame of formula that is since the uh, sin x, uh, sin x by x equal to 1, here by applying the formula we are getting 1. Then by simplifying we are getting root 2. Now this part you must pay your full attention. I think you understand. Okay, you must give your friends also. You must tell your uh, tell your and your friends opinion to me also. Okay, thank you everyone.